Yo, what's up guys? Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab. Today we're gonna to be hopping on Instagram and I'm gonna show you how to find other users and businesses that are located in your area. And this can be used for a lot of things, whether you wanna find friends or businesses that you could work with or girls or guys or other funny people in your area or other people that do the same stuff that you do. It can really be used for whatever you want it to be used for. There's tons of different things happening on Instagram. So let's hop on the app and take a look. Okay, so here we are on the Instagram app. Starting off on the home screen, and the first thing we wanna do is go to the search tab. So you can tap the magnifying glass in the tab bar on the bottom of the screen. And this currently acts as the explore page. So this is stuff that Instagram thinks you'll like. But what we wanna do is tap in the search bar on the top of the screen. And this is gonna allow us to search for pretty much anything that we wanna search for. So I would say the number one way is to go to the places tab on the right side of the screen up towards that cancel button. You can tap on that or you can really just swipe through these. And then you could hit near current location and it's gonna give you tons of locations near where you're currently at. Or if you know where you're currently at, you could type that in as well. So I could type Kalamazoo. And then we can just tap on this Kalamazoo location. At the top of the screen, there will be a story. So that's one way to discover people. Like I could tap on this story. And if I see something interesting on here, like, okay, this person does fitness. Up at the top left of the screen, under where it says Kalamazoo is their name. You wanna tap on their name. And then you can go directly to their profile. And then most people will have a name, a bio, maybe a link. So you can learn more about them. So this lady is a 30 year old, wife, mom, health, fitness, all that stuff. This is her profile. So I could follow her if I want. I could also hit these three dots in the top right. And that's gonna bring up a menu and I could send her a message directly from here. I'm not gonna do that right now, but that's one way through stories. It looks like this dude might be a rapper or something like that. So I could tap on his profile see what he's all about. Maybe I'm into music and I could uh, follow him or connect with him somehow through messages or start to comment on his videos or photos. So tons of stories on here. Um, it'll depend like where your location is if you're a small town or a big town for the amount of content that's in those stories and in these posts. And then if we scroll down from here, we can see the top posts. So I could tap on any of these photos, like this dude looks like he might be a fitness dude or training for something. If, if I'm interested in that, I could like his photo, comment on it. I could go to his profile, learn what he's all about. Looks like he might be a football player. So if you want to meet people in football, this could be a way. Really, when you do these searches, there's gonna be all types of stuff. Up here at the top will be the most popular, like the most liked, the most engaging photos. So that depends like on the person and how popular they are, maybe how good the photo is. But if we scroll down, we can see the most recent posts from this location. So these are just all of the posts that people have tagged with Kalamazoo. Um, so if I'm looking for local food or anything like that, like this person posted a hamburger. And then if I look right below their username, I can see, okay, that's from Bell's Eccentric Cafe. That's like a bar downtown. So it could be a way to discover food. Looks like there's more fitness people on here, coffee shops, you know, people just sharing all kinds of stuff. So it's, it's really up to you what you're looking for, what you wanna come and find here. So that's one way through a location, like a city location. Now I could also type in like Chipotle. So Chipotle Mexican Grill, Southwest Avenue, that's right on the road from me. So I could tap on that. This is gonna give me all of the people who have tagged this Chipotle. So here are the top posts. I can click on these, see what they're all about. These are probably people that are in my area. So if I'm looking for mutual people that are interested in Chipotle, I could come here. Some of my posts are on here. Uh, here's the recent post, there's only 12. So like not that many people are tagging Chipotle, obviously. But there's probably a lot more popular restaurants in Kalamazoo that people are tagging if you want to look up something that way. So that's the main way to find something by location. It could also be useful if you're traveling somewhere, like if I was going to Boulder, Colorado. 
type in select Boulder, Colorado, you could see like what people are here, who the top posts are, who's making those recent posts. You could also view like local stories like this is stuff coming straight out of Colorado. So it could also be useful if you're just interested in this type of stuff. Like if you want to see what's going on in a location, if you're interested or doing research or whatever. So this looks like it's a co-working space in Boulder. That's interesting. Just random people doing their thing. The next way is that we can go to tags. So I could type in Kalamazoo. It looks like it's already popped up here. So I can click on that. So these are people that are including hashtag Kalamazoo in their posts. Like I've shown in previous videos, you could also follow this, follow this location and then they'll start to show up in your feed. I don't really need that at this time. But these are just people that are using hashtag Kalamazoo, so they're most likely from this location. So we can see the top posts that are tagging Kalamazoo. Then we can see all of the most recent ones. So it sort of just shows what's going on in Kalamazoo playing some paintball at hole in the wall. I've been there, I've played here, played some paintball here. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know that they had an Instagram page. So I could tap on that and see what it's all about. Maybe follow them if I want to. Some more food, you know, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of people tagging Kalamazoo. People with artwork, this is one of my friends. So that's pretty much it. Like you can just come in here in the search, type in locations, type in things that you're interested in type in places that you may want to see. Maybe you're looking for people in your area. Maybe you're looking for people in a new area you're visiting. Maybe you just want to see something, what life is like from a different area. There's tons of uses for this, but it's definitely one of the things that makes Instagram one of the most useful apps. And it's probably an underused or underrated feature for Instagram. A lot of the other social medias aren't even close to this. And we see Snapchat doing some of this stuff, but it's really like not even on the same level. So Instagram is kind of killing the competition in this area. And I think these features could be really useful for people. And there you have it. How to find other Instagram users and businesses in your area. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll try and answer those. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for daily videos on mobile apps, social media, tech, and all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.